Hey, this is part two of creating PSAs using Google Presentations and Screencast-O-Matic. And I'm sorry it's a little shaky or if the sound quality is rough, but I gotta do it on my phone um, to show you how to record. So when you're ready to record your presentation, you have all your animation set up and everything is hunky-dory, um, you're gonna do a couple things. One, you wanna click the down arrow next to present and choose present a new window then you're going to want to resize that window bring it down a little bit and make it something like that so that's where you're going to be recording your slides so here they are and if you go to screencastomatic.com then you'll be brought to this screen so once you click start recording you'll get something like this. You're just going to choose run this time and then you'll get something like this. You can just click later. Now this is if you're using Google Chrome so I would definitely recommend using Google Chrome to do this uh, but when you do that you'll probably get a couple other prompts. You might have to do that same process twice. If you get this box choose run and then you'll see this again. So you just click it again and then click later again. I know it seems crazy but once you do that and go through the process a couple times it should load for you like this and then you'll get a recording box like this and you just put these dotted lines around your screen so this is my screen that I'm going to record, these are my slides so I'm in presentation mode here I'm going to put these lines around whatever it is I want to record so now when I'm ready to record, I can click the red button down here, make sure my microphone is working. So you're going to use the snowball mics at school, but if you're using a different one, you'll see that green bar is actually moving. And when you click record, then it's going to give you the countdown and it's recording everything inside of that red line. And you can just go through your slideshow by clicking your... Um, space bar, try and be quiet because it's picking up all your audio, everything you're saying, as well as any background noise. So you just go through your slides, read your part, your partners will read their parts, and you'll have your PSA ready to go. And when you're done, you can click done. But if you need to pause, let's say you need to pause and switch positions and switch mic, so now it's the next person's turn, um, you just click pause, and when the next person's ready to go, you click record again and it gives you the countdown and then the next person can go so er once everybody is done you can click done if you need to restart you can do that but now when you're done it brings up this screen and you're just going to click publish to video file and you're just going to save the file to your computer so when you click save video then it brings up um, your um, or your computer files and you're going to go to the share file, my screen looks different, but go to the share file and save it with all the group members names in here so that your teacher can find it and be able to save it and view it and put it in his or her own file. And once you click save then you're all set and you can um, be finished with the requirements of the project and you can add to it later if you want to. So that's pretty much it. Thanks.